Welcome to Wednesday's Word of Wisdom. David and I, we had a discussion about discerning spirits, and we found a good passage that kind of stirred us up, so come on back and find out what we learned. And we're back. So David and I were talking about 1 Kings 13. And I read this in my devotion and I shared it with him. And then that brought up a good conversation. So we're going to share that conversation with you. I'm going to read to you from 1 Kings 13, starting at verse 7. And let me give you a bit of context. Now, this is the time when after King Solomon, we know King Solomon was the wisest uh, king that there was. And after King Solomon, there was a division in the in the country of Israel, right? There was Judah, and then there was uh, the country of Israel and uh, the 12 tribes that separated. And so therefore there was a lot of tension and a lot of kings, they turned their back against the Lord. They started worshiping idols. And of course, you know, that brought judgment on the children of Israel. So the prophet in this, um, that particular scripture, um, he's called the man of God. And we're going to find out what happens in here. So 1 Kings 13, son at verse 7 says, Then the king said to the man of God, Come to the palace with me and have something to eat, and I'll give you a gift. But the man of God said to the king, Even if you gave me half of everything you own, I would not go with you. I would not eat or drink anything in this place. For the Lord gave me this command. You must not eat or drink anything while you are there and do not return to Judah by the way you came. So he left Bethel and went home another way. And it happened that there was an old prophet living in Bethel and his sons came home and told him what the man of God had done in Bethel that day. They also said to their father, what the man of God said to the king, the old prophet asked them, which way did he go? So they showed their father which road the man of God had taken. Quick, saddle the donkey, the old man said. So they saddled the donkey for him and he mounted it. Then he rode after the man of God and found him sitting under a great tree. The old prophet asked him, are you the man of God that came from Judah? Yes, I am, he replied. Then he said to the man of God, come home with me and eat some food. No, I cannot, he replied. I am not allowed to eat or drink anything here in this place. For the Lord gave me this command. You must not eat or drink anything while you are there and do not return to Judah by the same way you came. Catch this part. Now we're at verse 18. But the old prophet answered, I am a prophet too just as you are. And an angel gave me this command from the Lord, bring him home with you so he can have something to eat and drink. But the old man was lying to, the, to him. So they went back together and the man of God ate and drank at the prophet's home. Then while they were sitting at the table, a command came from the Lord to, to the old prophet. He cried out, to the man of God from Judah, this is what the Lord says. You have defied the word of the Lord and have disobeyed the command the Lord your God gave you. You came back to this place and ate and drank where he told you not to eat and drink. And because of this, your body will not be buried in the grave of, the, of your ancestors. Wow, what a punishment. Okay. Now, what I see in here, and I don't know if you were listening good enough to actually see this, you have two people here that are really important. One, you have the man of God, and he's actually called that for a purpose. Yeah. The second one says a prophet, mm -hmm. but it never says a prophet of God. Mm -hmm. So the, the man of God, he, was, he had heard God's voice, and he went and he did what he was told to do. Mm -hmm. So he came back, and when this prophet came, he... he initially said what he was originally told yeah but because this man invoked the name of the lord mm. he listened mm -hmm. all right you know let me just pause here it's like are we discerning those things we hear people say this all the time oh the lord told me this the lord told me that are we really, really knowing that it's from god because here's the thing god tells you something and you know it's god there's no question 
Is God going to send you someone else to tell you just the opposite of what he told you to do? Wow. Now listen to this. This is 1 John 4, and this is talking about being able to discern spirits and prophets. Now listen to this. It says, Dear friends, do not believe every spirit. Wow. But test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets mm -hmm. have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. Wow. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. Wow. So we are living in this time period that Paul talks about it. You know, people are here telling you everything your ears want to hear. Mm -hmm. But are we, yeah, are we slowing down? It's like, okay, are we hearing from the true men of God, mm -hmm. the true people that God has given us to hear from, mm -hmm. or because it sounds good, or because they invoke the name of God? Yeah. Are we lit following that? Are we being discerning? Yeah. That is a spiritual gift that I That's believe right. all believers can have if we are seeking that. Absolutely. And we need to. Yes, absolutely. Bishop preached on that a couple weeks ago, having the gifts of the Spirit, one of which is discernment. And I mm -hmm. think so much now, more than ever, mm -hmm. as uh, believers, as children of the Lord, that we need to have that gift of discernment. Because I really, I mean, this story really sat with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. How many times have we had people speak into our lives and say certain things? And, we, you know, we get all excited. But then we have to really question, is this from the Lord? Or is this another prophet? And I think that's what kind of threw me mm -hmm. when I read this. Because when I read it through, I was like, it says prophet, mm -hmm. right? So Im immediately I'm thinking, prophet of the Lord. But as David said, I mean, if you continue to read some of the other um, chapters, there's prophets of Baal, there's mm -hmm. the word prophet, right? Doesn't necessarily mean from the Lord. Well, even And even Pastor alluded to this, if you read in there about even Saul, he was chasing David, he was chasing him to kill him, and God hit him, and even he prophesied. Yes. Mm -hmm. So God can use people because even in this story, he used the prophet to tell the man of God, look, you didn't listen to me. Yes. You did what I told you not to do. So God can use that, but are we in this? Yeah. Are we seeking God? Are we seeking his face? Are we questioning these people that speak against what God has told us to do. That is what discernment, especially in today's society. You can go on Google and search a scripture. You can see so many different things that it means. But are we seeking God on it and not those people? That is what we need to be doing because Satan is alive. He's a well, that's the spirit of Antichrist as John wrote in this scripture here. He is here. He might not be knowledgeable by name that we know who he is, but the spirit is here. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.